Hi, I'm Jessie Pankew from Rose Bay High School. Today I'm going to talk to Ruth, a speech pathologist who works at Lauderdale Primary School. Can you tell me a bit about being a speech pathologist? Sure. So um, what I'd normally do in a day would be work with some of the kids in the school. I do lots of different things. So sometimes I might work with kids who are having trouble understanding language or using language, or maybe kids who are having difficulty saying different sounds. Sometimes I do things with people who have trouble communicating socially or kids who are stuttering, things like that. What's your favourite part of being a speech pathologist? Probably when I actually get to see kids achieve something that they couldn't do before. So whether that's actually being able to say a sound that they physically couldn't do or feeling really confident about using their language and now they're one of the really talkative kids in the class when they used to be really shy. Or sometimes if we've been working on social skills, just seeing somebody who's actually racing around in the playground and they've got friends and they didn't used to. I think that would be my favourite bit, just seeing kids achieving and happy. What are some things people don't realise about speech pathology? Um, or one of the really new areas that's opening up is with mental health and working with people in the justice system. So a lot of people who have ended up there have really high speech pathology needs and that's a new area that's starting to be met. So I think people just don't realise the range of areas we work in and the different things that we do. I think speech pathology is sometimes a bit misleading because we do a lot more than that. What experience and education do you have? Um, well, I grew up in New South Wales and that's where I went to primary school and high school, which includes college. It's a little bit different to here. Um, from there, I went to the University of Newcastle, which is really close to where I grew up. And I did a four year undergraduate degree in Bachelor of Speech Pathology. Who's suited to something like this? Um, probably people who like to talk because we spend a lot of our time talking. Um, but that said, you don't have to be super outgoing to do this. I think as long as you get on well with people and enjoy helping people and teaching people, I think that's probably a really good place to start. For someone wanting to get into speech pathology, what pathway should they be looking at? Go to uni at UTAS and study something a little bit related and then go to the mainland and do a two year master's degree or you could look at moving to the mainland for a four year undergraduate, which is what I did. Um, or if you just like that sort of field, there are things like um, allied health assistant that you can do at TAFE and stay in Tasmania and they'll qualify you to help with a range of people, not just speech pathology, but things like physio and occupational therapy too. Thanks Ruth, it's been really great talking to you and learning more about speech pathology. Hopefully this gives students a better idea of what pathways to take.